Chanel is one of the most influential fashion brands in defining fashion today. The Chanel that we know today all started with a young orphan who learned to sew and do laundry to survive. Nobody could have imagined that this very orphan could have created a $9 billion empire. History of Chanel Coco Chanel was born August 19, 1883 in Saint-Mer, France. She belonged to a very poor family. Her parents were Albert and Janine Chanel, who worked as a peddler vendor and laundry woman. Her father and mother never married. Her early years were anything but glamorous as compared to what was coming next. At the mere age of 12, Chanel lost her beloved mother. Shortly after her mother's death, her father put Chanel and two sisters into a convent orphanage, and Chanel, with her sisters, became an orphan. After a few months in the orphanage, Chanel started her sewing lessons, which were taught to her by the orphanage nuns. This story of sewing continued for years in her life. After six long years, when Chanel became an adult merely 18, she left the orphanage alone and got a job as a seamstress and a cabaret singer at the same time. However, her singing was not good enough to enable a stage career. Chanel worked for a long time as a singer. During her career as a singer, Chanel performed in various clubs in Vichy and Molins, where she was nicknamed Coco. Some people say that the name comes from one of the songs she used to sing. Who? has seen Coco, while others say her father used to call her Coco. No one knows the real story. One day after the summer seasons were over, Chanel was going back to Molins for her singing performance when she met a young French ex-Calvary officer, Edené Balsan, a very rich businessman. Chanel immediately fell in love with the man. After a year of dating Balsan, the 23-year-old Chanel became Balsan's mistress. Chanel left her job in town and started to live with Balsan at his chateau in northern France, an area known for its equestrian and hunting lifestyle. This is how the story of Chanel Brand has started. Showered with all of Balsan's riches, she started to buy excessive diamond pearls, designer dresses, hats, and everything lavish that you can dream of. Balsan was of a wealthy status and often partied with high-class people and he introduced Chanel to everyone during parties, which helped Chanel to establish a good influence among high-class individuals. Chanel was beautiful and young. During those parties, Chanel got obsessed with expensive and fashionable clothes, so she decided to open a boutique. But at that time, Chanel didn't have enough money, so she decided to ask for help from her lover, and he agreed to it. With the help of her lover's financial aid, Chanel opened her first clothing boutique in Paris. Three years later, she began an affair with one of Balsan's friends, Captain Arthur Edward Boy Capel. He was a wealthy upper-class Englishman. Capel bought Chanel an apartment in Paris for her shop and also financed her clothing shop, particularly Jersey Blazers. During the relationship, the couple spent time together in lavish resorts like Deauville, but at the time, Capel was having an affair with another woman. Later, Capel married an English woman, but continued his affair with Chanel, and their relationship lasted for almost eight years. The Starting Phase of Chanel the Brand In 1910, Chanel officially got her license and became a licensed milliner. That's a regulated person who sells women's official attire and hat making, and opened her first boutique in Paris, named Chanel Modes. Chanel's hat designs quickly gained popularity in 1912 after actress named Gabrielle Dorazon wore Chanel's hats while performing in the Ferdinand Norzeret's play Belle Amie, afterwards again modeling Chanel's hats in photographs that were published in a French magazine, La Mose. After huge success with her hat collections, Chanel started designing clothing and wanted to pursue a career in fashion designing. Her clothing designs got very famous when she started selling simple jerseys with tricoat sweaters. Many wealthy women adored this design as a relief from their traditional corset garments. Due to the high popularity of her products, Chanel decided to open another shop in 1913 where Chanel introduced luxury casual clothes and garments for sports. But after a year, Chanel in selling suffered due to the start of World War I both of her shop's locations were affected drastically. So after a year of war, Chanel decided to open another boutique, Chanel Bayeritis, in Bayeritis. Due to downed sales, Chanel contacted her sister, Antoinette, and her aunt, 
Adrian, who was of a similar age, and asked them to wear her dress and stroll around town as a daily advertisement tactic. They both agreed, and with their help, Chanel was able to sell hats, jackets, sweaters, and a traditional French sailor blouse, all at a profitable rate. The Rise of Chanel and Chanel's Influence Reaching into the Elite Due to her designs, Chanel became very popular and gained loyal customers. At the time, Chanel met the Russian Grand Duchy of Dmitri and became his mistress. One day, Dmitri introduced Chanel to Ernest Beau. Beau worked in the perfume industry, and after meeting Ernest, Chanel got an idea of creating perfume. Chanel and Ernest started work on perfume after a few suggestions and experiments. Chanel and Beau created the legendary perfume named Chanel No. 5. In 1924, after the launch of the perfume, it became an instant hit. The perfume was desired as, quote, the most iconic fragrance in the world. After perfume success, Chanel quickly launched her work into another realm of famous figures. She was constantly around high-powered individuals and elite groups like politicians of Winston Churchill and royals like Edward, Prince of Wales, Duke of Westminster. Chanel got famous in the elite group and at the time was constantly having romantic affairs with princes, dukes, and high-class businessmen. After 1924, Chanel's other products boomed and her business flourished. By 1935, Chanel's business employed over 4,000 people. But in 1939, all of Chanel's dreams were shattered due to World War II and its major impact on Paris. Chanel had to close all her businesses. After shutting down her shop, Chanel moved to the Hotel Ritz with her other boyfriend, Hans Gunther von Dinklage, a Nazi intelligence officer. Because of her relationship with a Nazi officer, she was suspected of being a German spy. Due to this suspicion, at the end of the war, the French government arrested Chanel. After questioning for years and not finding any proof or documentation, in 1944, Chanel was released from prison as a traitor to France. Despite being released from jail, it was hard for Chanel to stay in France because of too many rumors of her collaboration with the Nazis. In 1945, Chanel, with her German lover, left France for Switzerland and lived eight years. In 1954, Chanel had had enough and decided to return to Paris and start her business again. With the help of her old friend, Pierre Werthenheimer, Chanel reopened her perfume shop. Pierre fully financed the shop and kept 70% of the sales to himself, and the rest of the shares went to Chanel. Now over 70 years old, Chanel designed and launched an entirely new collection. American and British fashion deemed this collection a breakthrough. Chanel redeveloped her rapport and was featured in Vogue, reclaiming her luxury and high-end entitlement. Chanel would spend her final years residing in her home at Hotel Ritz and share happy memories with many other influential French socialites towards the end of her life. Chanel passed away peacefully on January 10, 1971, at the age of 87. By the 1980s, there would be over 40 boutiques worldwide that sold only the most luxurious of pieces. Dresses began at $11,000, and her quintessential perfume was priced at over $200 per ounce. Chanel's mindset was always to provide their customers with the best quality products without providing them with too many choices. Chanel's legacy lives in the world of fashion today. Her designs are timeless with an effortless chic trademark. In 1983, Karl Lagerfeld took over the late Coco Chanel's company and continued her legacy. Chanel's understanding of women's fashion and ambitious demeanor continued to influence designers and consumers. Now valued at over $9 billion, Chanel has boutiques in Asia, Europe, the Middle East, North America, South America, and Australia. Chanel currently has 310 boutiques. This is a story of how an orphan girl changed the course of female fashion for decades and created a multi-billion dollar empire. Thanks for watching the video. Press like and subscribe and the bell icon for regular updates. And comment down below your favorite part.